Introduction, you are worth it. I hopped in the black sedan and closed the door. Yet another ride to the airport. This time, I was headed to London. The moment I hit the seat, I began scanning through various emails of tickets, reservations, and confirmations to make sure every step of my trip over the next seven days would be as smooth as possible. But with each tap of the screen came a comment from the driver. He clearly wanted to talk. I put my phone down to chat with Bobby. He had come to America at a young age with his parents from Pakistan. He proceeded to tell me that he became an Uber driver after getting burned out as a banker who specialized in mortgages because it was stressful for him to deal with people's homes and their livelihoods on a daily basis. As his story unfolded, we connected. I could relate to feeling burned out, if for different reasons. I appreciated his openness and honesty. And as the conversation continued, I decided to share my journey and struggle with him. He listened intently, and when I was finished, he said the same five words I have heard countless times. Thank you for your service. The phrase has prompted some discussion within the veteran community because it is so predictable, almost reflexive. It's become filler language for when people don't know what else to say to you, but they want to say something. I know some vets are bothered by it because it can feel hollow as if the person is just saying it out of obligation or habit. Or the vets feel that they are being valued solely for their military service and not for anything else. Personally, I don't mind the phrase. That person didn't have to take time out of their day to say anything to me. But they did, and that means something. I usually just say, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. But that day, on the way to the airport, I responded as I never had before. As Bobby said, thank you for your service. I replied, you are worth it. He paused as he looked at me intently in the rear view mirror. To be honest, I paused too. Why did I just say that? I had heard the phrase before, but never said it to anyone. How would it come across to someone else? I didn't know how Bobby would take it, but in that moment, I wanted him to know that his family, his freedom, his rights, just the simple fact that he was a human being meant that he was worth sacrificing for. And that's what I've come to realize serving in the military means to me. The last few minutes of our car ride were silent but as we approached the airport, he said to me, my parents are retired and they have had a peaceful and happy life. I received a great education and I will never experience the struggles my parents faced. That is because of you and our military for which I'll always be thankful. I will pray that God will bless your journey, my brother. As Bobby from Pakistan pulled away, I took a moment to reflect on that encounter, the twist of fate that had suddenly pulled all the fragmented pieces into focus for me. I'd said, you are worth it, and I meant it. As time has passed and the more I said it, the more I realized how deeply true the words are. You are worth it. You are. You are worth protecting. You are worth fighting for. You are worth time in a hospital bed and deep scars on my body. Because all Americans and the people of Afghanistan and so many people around the world who go to bed at night wishing to one day taste freedom and peace have inherent worth as human beings. If we don't spend our time on this earth looking out for one another, what are we really doing with our lives? I want to be straight with you. My goal isn't just to make people think about 
the long run, but to look even beyond that. How are what they are doing and the impact they are making on their world right now going to persist? Some of the greatest deeds, work, recognition, and impact do not come to fruition until long after their human creators are gone. It's the whole idea of planting tree whose shade you'll never enjoy. Or, as one character says in Cloud Atlas, our lives are not our own. We are bound to others, past and present, and by each crime and every kindness, we birth our future. On a more personal level, you are worth whatever you want to invest in yourself. You are worth pushing through whatever is holding you back, whatever challenges you are facing, whatever seemingly insurmountable odds are staring back at you. You are worth pursuing the happiness you search for when you look in the mirror. I am worth it too. And that is why I fought to rebuild my life into something even greater than it was before the grenade changed everything for me. It might seem natural to divide my life into two parts, before the explosion and after. But that would give the bad guy who wanted to kill me too much power over my story. I am about so much more than that one moment. The explosion is simply one event in a lifetime of events, all which have shaped me, changed me, made me grow, and made me who I am. And the life I am living now, even as I am continuing to build it, is one I love. I am worth it, and so are you.